designed so that it's, it is symmetrical about the mirror line. Okay, this is easy. And again, we have to use a ruler here. So all we should really do is just pretty much start from here and just, you know, extend the line across. So we're going to have something like three across here. And then we just go one back here. So just try and match up these lines. Why do I always count the distance from here to here? And then go, how many? So we're going to go three down. So start from here and go three down. And then it's going inwards from here. So I just connect the line over here. And that's it. Again, make sure you use a ruler, guys. Always helpful. Now, number two. So Stefan completes to this calculation. Okay, so we've got 95 take away 67 is 28. So write an addition calculation he could use to check his answer. Now, all, you, all this really means that we just have to use pretty much the same statement again, but other way around. So to get a final answer, when you're adding two numbers, you must always get a number big in, in the end. So the biggest number is 95, so we just put 95 down there. And now these boxes could be in any order. We could put, say, 28 here and 67, or 67 and 28. I'm always going to go to do the bigger first, because I like to add put the bigger number on top. So yeah, that's really it. Okay, question for you guys. So this one I already cropped out to another page because we actually need to use a ruler for this one. So let's have a look. So on the line below, mark the point that is 6.7 centimeters from A. So over here. So what I did here and what I recommend you guys to do is to always get a, a nice ruler which says centimeters in it. So make sure it says CM. Okay. And then I want you to put the, the value of 0 A at A. So this is basically going to be the starting point. And now we have to make sure that the ruler is perfectly in line with this. The, the best thing to do is always put the ruler on the line so you can actually see how far it goes. And then we just follow find where 6.7 is. So 6.7 is going to be basically between 6 and 7. And you just count up these little lines. So in the middle is of course 6.5 and then next one will be 0.6 and then 0.7. So 6.7 should be about here. That's it. All done. Now, let's move on to the next one. So yeah, a few things I want to say about question 3 again, is that sometimes you, they will actually allow you if you have a small error. So if you measured accidentally 6.6 .6 or probably 6.8, if you're really close to 6.7, you'll still get the full mark. So don't, don't worry too much. Just try and be as accurate as possible and make sure the intention is there. Anyway guys, let's look at 4. Ooh, fractions, I love this. So these diagrams show 3 equivalent fractions. So it just looks to me that we got three quarters across, just looking head on. Looking head on. Now what, what we want to do here is firstly count how many shaded. So we've got one, two, three shaded out of four. So that's why we've got three quarters here. Next one, we're going to have how many shaded? We've got exactly three, six, nine shaded, which is here, over 10, 11, 12. And the next one, well, how many do we have? So we've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 shaded. And of course, it's out of, well, 24, 21, 24. Yep. So just count the blocks. Easy, easy. This is literally easy marks. Okay, number five. Let's check this out. So here are the temperatures in four cities at midnight and at midday. Okay. So for example, at Paris, at midnight, the temperature was minus four degrees, which is pretty cold. But in, at midday, 12 hours later, it was minus two. So it went up by two degrees. But if you're in a country, if you're in a city like Oslo, it's really cold and it's not that much different. It's warmer a bit, but not much difference. But Rome is, of course, a lot warmer. Now, let's check our next one. At midnight, so we're looking at the midnight values, how many degrees colder was Paris than Rome? So Paris was minus four and Rome was three. So what I do is draw a number line. So I've got minus four on the negative side and positive three, because remember, this is a positive value, so this is a plus three. We just count the difference. What I do is always call this one zero. So it's so I would say it takes exactly four degrees to get to zero and another three de degrees to get to positive three. So the total distance, the total change is seven. Four plus three is seven. Okay. Now next one. Which city was six degrees colder at midnight than at midday? So we're looking at the difference of six degrees. So just looking at like carefully, this is a quick math. So I would ignore the, the, the negative sign sometimes. So we've got minus 4, minus 2, so the difference is, of course, 2 degrees. We've got minus 13 and 7, so 7 and 13 has a difference of 6. So without looking at the rest, it's, it's definitely going to be Oslo. That's it. 
So always do your diff your calculations step by step. If you go, I mean, you can always check the rest, but this is for sure has to be right. 